No, coming off a great weekend. Pre pretty uh, st I don't, str stressful for the coaching staff. I don't know for the players. They were they were on the field, but uh, two games that were not not the norm. Um, good win over I thought an excellent Dartmouth team Friday night. You know, a steady top 30 NCAA team who uh, brought a lot of energy and, 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 and challenged us Friday. But I was real proud with our team's effort. Uh, guys got behind on two occasions, came back, and I thought had a pretty convincing win in the second half. Uh, Sunday's game against Irvine, that was uh, something I'd never encountered. Uh, pretty comfortable in the game. We were up one nothing. had a lot of chances to put the game away. Let uh, Irvine stay in it, and they and they tied it up with three seconds left in regulation, and our guys, uh, you know, were good, took care of business in overtime for the win. But but two games that uh, I felt should have been a little bit more comfortable than they were. We made them difficult. You can look for positives. You can say it builds character. But uh, we still need to be a little bit better on closing games out that when we're better than our opponent. Uh, the, the positive, those are both very good teams, you know, NCAA tournament teams. I think they'll both be in the NCAA tournament this year. And I felt uh, we were the better team on the night than, than, than both of our opponents. But it's been, uh, it's been a good season so far, you know, six games. I think we've played five NCAA tournament teams. For the four of the six teams have been ranked at times, so we've gotten to test ourselves against good opponents. I think we got a very good team. We want to tighten things up a little bit on the defensive end. We want to put teams away because we have a lot of uh, offensive firepower. But wh where we are, five and one, you know, I, f I feel real good about. Uh, this weekend's games are against two more NCAA tournament teams: Fairfield, Northern Illinois, both. Uh, you know, played in the NCAs last year, good teams, defensive, tough. Um, they're going to be dangerous on set pieces, off seconds. They're, they're going to be a challenge for us. It's, it's teams that we need to take care of the ball and we need to take care of uh, our opportunities. Otherwise, it's going to be a battle just like every game, you know, seems to be. You guys got any questions? You know, I don't think it was so much the focus on that goal. It was our ability to finish chances to put the game away. And any time you have a one-goal lead, anything can happen. And, th and that was a fine example of a funny bounce, a funny deflection, and they're right back in it. And, and, and if you want to be a great team, you got to put two, three goals on the scoreboard and close it out early. And uh, we haven't done a good job of that, and that's going to be our challenge. That's a challenge to our attacking guys. If you're presented good opportunities, the ball's got to be in the net. You know, the defense has been good. You know, could we be a little bit better? Could there be a little more of attention to details? For sure. And, and that's something, you know, we're going to continue to work on and, and, and challenge ourselves. But all in all, you know, the effort's been very good. It's a cohesive group. Um, you know, we've got a good rotation of guys playing. And we're excited to get out on the field again on Friday. Coach, you talk about the uh, ALS fundraiser on Sunday, especially pass in basketball. Well, I mean, a ALS is something that's been, you know, too near and dear to our heart. You know, former uh, player here, Pat Grange, passed away from ALS, and, and, and we've been very committed to helping and however we can. And we're, we're, we're excited to be involved again uh, this Sunday. For a big uh, fundraising effort, so it's a uh, it's a reality check for our guys at all at all times. You know, to see a teammate, a guy who is living life to its fullest, and you know, stricken down pretty quickly, pretty young. So it's uh, it, it's an honor to be able to be involved with that cause. Yeah, I mean that that's that was a challenge going into the season and, and it's a challenge you want. I mean 
you got a target on you. It's everybody's big game. You're getting everybody's best. And, and, and you have to have a, a different mentality. You know, we, we don't ever have an underdog mentality here. We expect to win every game. And you got to respect your opponents and know how great an opportunity it is for them to, to, to knock you off. And I think that's a good challenge for our guys. I mean, we, we all want to be that, that, you know, that team, that person. You, you want to be somebody that is successful. So uh, it's been good, and our guys have handled it well. You know, all you can ask for is attention to details, control the things you have control over, mentally be sharp. And, and our guys have done that for the most part. You know, our leadership's good, and the maturity's good. So I'm, you know, I'm real proud of our team. In that sense. Coach, there's so many great players uh, on your team. How, how, how hard has it been to structure playing time with everybody? Because that's all on Sunday, Devin Sandoval and James Rogers came off the bench. Right. I mean, it's a challenge. I mean, if the team's doing well, it makes it a little bit easier. And, and we constantly talk about that, having respect for your teammates. And, and when you're on the field, your greatest obligation is to the guys that aren't on the field because they're, they're very good players. And, and I think uh, our guys understand that. And they also understand over the course of an 18-game regular season with conference uh, playoffs, hopefully NCAA tournament, that you need to get a lot of guys playing. You need to catch a rest when you can. Injuries are going to occur. And, and they, they realize that, and they're pretty good about it. I mean, everybody wants to be on the field, but uh, I think we talk about it enough that that uh, they're not they're not selfish guys. What's your plan against Fairfield? They've only allowed point six goals per game this season. Plan is to score more than point six. Um, <laughs> we got a good attacking team. You know what? If we scored at least two goals a game, that's our plan. You know, we go into every game saying, "Hey, we're going to score two or more goals." Uh, I think we'll continue to do that. Um, the challenge is not to give up sloppy stuff. Because we'll be, you know, we'll be firing on Friday night, no question. And, and I think the challenge will be on them on how they decide to play. Are they going to play very defensively, look to score against us uh, on counterattacks, on set pieces? Or are they going to kind of just uh, get at us, you know, man to man? We'll see. But uh, our focus is on our team right now. I think other guys are kind of coming into the mix. Lawrence Robledo has been very good. It's great that Carson Baldinger got that winner on Sunday. Um, Casey Phillips got, got some minutes. Um, it's a pretty well-balanced team. So, you know, I'm excited. Any, anytime we get on the field and get to test ourselves, it's a great opportunity. And you, and you almost feel like you're spinning your wheels until you get to play. Anything else? All right. Well, it's going to be a great one this weekend, and, and uh, just the support's been tremendous from the community. Crowds have been good. It's, uh, it's exciting, and, and I know our guys are, are, are ready to go. Thanks.